Welcome to my impressions of Fully Charged Live Sydney, Australia. If you missed out or maybe you just want to revisit the experience, this might be the video for you. So please stick around with me for the next several minutes and I've got to show you around all the different exhibitors, things you can try, all the talks, you name it. I hope to cover it all. So come with me. Obviously being fully charged live, there were cars, cars and more cars. The Polestar 2 had a significant presence with versions dotted around the floor like this one, ruining the weekend towing an electric motorbike. The next most notable car maker was BYD who was showing off the Addo 3 and near to them MG with the ZS EV and just unveiled for the Australian market MG4. A hot hatch with good range and performance that would do really well here. One of the criticisms I and many attendees noted was a lack of official presence with the likes of Tesla, Kia, Hyundai and others. In the program it was disclosed that they declined to attend which looks really bad on those companies doesn't it? Dan Caesar, CEO and presenter of Fully Charged tweeted that they were offered exhibiting space basically at no cost and then no cost if they actually lent cars to the show like these ones by private owners but sadly they still declined. An absolute missed opportunity by them. Do you reckon they thought that maybe no one would show up? <laughs> Which was the exact opposite by the way. More than 14,000 attendees attended across both days and was the most successful first show ever for Fully Charged Live. So, you know, these car companies, they've missed out on those eager customers ready to put the deposit down on the first electric car or maybe this electric huge or people mover by LDV. Story out soon. But no. Instead, the big brands relied upon the generosity of EV owners who put up their own cars for display or offered joy rides in them, which I'll show you later on. I'll say it again, miss opportunity. Miss opportunity for attendees, obviously, who attended the show, but I reckon huge, huge miss for the exhibitors who didn't go and didn't get any new sales or future customers. Big mistake, big, huge. In my interview with Robert Llewellyn, he said that a lot of major brands who declined to exhibit this year did attend incognito and will likely exhibit at next year's Fully Charged Live. Oh, <laughs> gee, spoiler alert, it's actually going to be on show next year in 2024, so I, I reckon it's going to be coming back bigger and better. So yeah, if, you, if you're liking what you see here, definitely get to next year. Okay, with that one negative out the way, there was so much to do at Fully Charged Live. Like for instance, this. There were electric car conversions. E-bikes, fun story coming up soon. Electric motorbikes and mopeds. And lots and lots of charging solutions. If you are in the market or if you are in the market for any of these, I would highly recommend you get to next year's Fully Charged Live. It's a great opportunity to be talking one-on-one -on -one and getting advice, I think, in a pretty good environment where you're not be getting maybe the sale pressure that you would get if you went to, say, someone's store. A real highlight where multiple talks held throughout Fully Charged Live like in the Giga Theatre where I was on two panels on the Saturday or this one with Robert and Jack, full video up here, which was a great laugh and worth the price of entry alone. One thing that really impressed me was just how accessible all of the fully charged team were. You would see Elliot, Jack and Robert roaming the floor doing fun things like this and being available for photos or a chat. On a personal note, I too was fortunate to talk one-on-one -on -one with you know, Jack, Elliot and Robert and at length and I was amazed at how insightful they are, genuine and down to earth. Great stuff. Anyway, finishing it off, located in the car park were test drives or rides in BYDs, Polestars, Cooper Born, motorbikes and more. And that's a wrap from Fully Charged Live Australia, Sydney. I don't know which way around it goes, but nonetheless, it's great seeing here people actually getting to electric vehicles, having a bit of a ride and try electric motorbikes and mopeds, all the stuff that's upstairs, solar, inverters, uh, heat pumps, e-mobility, e-bikes and so much more. Next year, it seems like they're promising us to bring a bigger and better show. It'd be lovely to see oh, a lot more car makers here in Australia. 
uh, supporting the show. But nonetheless, look, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure on the Endcast to check out all the other content I've covered on this. There's some really awesome talks I've got there, interviews, some key players in the industry, and a lot more. Subscribe, think about YouTube membership or Patreon, and otherwise, you'd be good and you'd be great.